Hey everyone, this is our third day back at home in Roca. Um, our plan today was to actually go out and visit some wineries along the coast and then join some friends for dinner. Uh, especially because they're supposed to be working on power today along the whole street and the street was going to be out on power. So we woke up early to get ready, uh, but can't believe. This is snow like I've never seen before. Absolutely snowed in, 100%. So maybe if they clear the streets, we can do something. But as of right now, we're snowed in. We're getting a fire going just in case we're not able to get out and they actually do cut the electricity. I'm hoping they're not going to. Let me turn the camera around so you can take a look. It is just like cotton snowing. I'm not gonna try to make it to the backyard. It is just way too much snow. Definitely a winter wonderland. Luckily, they didn't shut the power off today to work on the power lines. We just stayed home, enjoyed the fireplace, and had new plans for tomorrow. Last summer when we came home to Italy, we drove up the hill outside of Roca to see the old ruins of Roca, the old church, the forest and get some beautiful shots with the drone. This year we wanted to go up there and see how it looked in the winter with the snow shots. Unfortunately it didn't go as planned. This is what happened. So my goal right now is to just clear up a little bit of snow that came by the back of our car here. The streets are dry which are good. So I don't have a snow shovel but I do have this uh, dust pan here, so at least if I track the tires back, let's see if I can move this thing out of the way. Yeah. Looks like it'll work. town of Roca from the Fraccione of Serre is actually 700 feet higher so the climate changes pretty fast so you can see up in the distance there it's 
temperature drops and the chance of snow gets a lot higher. But just being 700 feet down below and just five to 10 minute drive into town, the road and the weather can change pretty fast unexpectedly. I wonder if that's still for sale. It's a nice place, yeah, it's still for sale. Yeah, just a little incline up the hill, the temperature dropped a few degrees. So, and you can see the town out in the distance there. You can see the steeple of the church when we get past these trees. You can probably see it a little better. So, you get an idea of where to see the town. Very short distance in a straight line. Here we go. But just curving around. It takes a little longer. already see just three minutes from our house the difference of the snow on the ground in the middle of the day it's 11 20 right now and we noticed that coming in the other night that just over a hill the weather conditions would change something totally new to me Florida being flat and all Should I go through San Francisco? Yeah, go up in the neighborhood then. Oh, look at the dogs. Is that Gino? Oh my god, it no. is. No, the that's, little not, one? that's not Gino. I think it is. No. no. Gino's shorter than that. lunch at the, the bar here in town one of them and we came outside here and it just started snowing again so where are you going now I'm trying to go up to the hill to the preserve but from what I hear is they don't clear the roads um, to get to old Roca or ancient Roca but uh, we'll see so spoiled with the rear view camera not having one. Right. Takes some getting used to. Now then. Is your GoPro on now? Yes. Oh, there's that cat that was in front of the Aww. cafe. Aww. Poor baby. <clears throat> Post 
Pesto italiana. Postman. Paneria. <laughs> now the sun comes and goes, the wind comes and goes. So when it's sunny, it's warm. As soon as the sun goes away, it gets chilly. We'll see how far we can get. Another cat there. Macelleria. Macelleria. That means meat store. Okay. Oh, he was going after a bird. Was that a cat or a dog? Yeah, cat. A cat he was huh? going after, she was going after a bird. Tried to warn me. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I'm gonna pause right here because I want you to take a look at this steep little turn here. Keep in mind, I'm from Florida. Everything's flat. There's no snow. I'm spoiled with a backup camera on my car, so I don't have all those luxuries here. So I think you'll understand my trials and tribulations as I try to reverse down this hill. Uh, very narrow on a curve a lot of snow uh, and my wife's trying to give me a hand at the same time a lot of pressure uh, go ahead and laugh I almost cried but I laughed at the end
can get out and help. I think it was safer over there. But <coughs> Clear this a little bit. Okay. Let me clear it. Yeah, I can turn around right in that grass. Here. I just gotta go in reverse, come back. Take your time, just go slow. Oh, no. <laughs> In fact, I told you, I told you so. <laughs> you don't listen. Thanks for the warning, buddy. People say, you try. I, you people try. say I don't listen. But look at you. I almost feel like we could just stop right here because it's going to be coming past here. Well, there was a place to park over there. Where? Down below. Oh, okay. I'm going to Hello my friend, thank you so much.
Come on, baby. Good boy. Good boy. I see your boy. Good boy. Okay, I'm leaving. I know this is your neighborhood. He's so cute. He said, I told you. I told you. You're going to listen. You, Thank, Thank you, you baby. So I wish baby. I had some treats. Look at his brown eyes. Damn it. I knew him. I'm going to pack him next time. Ready that view, we're gonna have to park right over there. Maybe over there. to Italy during the winter months a lot of the regions require that you have snow tires so you're renting a car make sure you ask about that in 1000 feet turn right onto it S has snow tires or not insist that it has snow tires because they're mandatory in a lot of regions especially in Tuscany all the way through April so even though it may be spring um, you have to make sure you have those snow tires and they'll be able to tell you right away I want to talk to you a little bit about navigation apps really important a godsend I have to tell you especially when you're traveling in a foreign country so on this trip we're using Google we use Google a lot it works pretty well we've had the best luck probably with Google but keep in mind these maps as we travel around Italy and probably anywhere else for that sake aren't always going to give you the best shortcut. It might think it's giving you a shortcut, but as you can see from this next little video here, um, probably not a shortcut I would have chosen to save three minutes, but it's what Google Map had chose. I had mentioned in earlier or in, or in another video that the gas stations are really good on the expressways in Italy but if you're taking a day trip off the expressway whenever you get about a half a tank start looking for gas because it could be over an hour before before you found the gas station we actually had to find this little one here in this town that is the street which is the church at the end of it and it was a little bit off of our route, but I was running low on gas. I didn't think we'd be going so far without getting gas. So always make sure you're getting the right gas, that you're not getting uh, diesel. Make sure you're getting um, whatever it says on here with the E5. It says it on the gas tank here, E5 as well. Our credit card wouldn't work here, but luckily we have always cash. Have always have cash because, you know, 
Thank goodness we ended up someplace that had this. I was getting nervous as the gas was running low. I was confident we'd make it somewhere, but I hate risking it once I get to a quarter of a tank. So once you get that half a tank, start looking. Pretty fast at these. Yeah, but uh, I don't know if they make change. You're lost, baby. Oh my goodness. I hope there's no other cars coming. Flash if there is. Oh, she's a baby. Okay, so I'm fine. Let's just be careful because she might come out crazy. Got her. 